Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought it'd be fun to sit down and go over a few things I've been loving for this month. A few things are pieces that I got in and I've been wearing and using, and a few things are just services, and I'll talk about a podcast I love right now too. This is my Chanel necklace that I got recently at the Beverly Hills Boutique. I've been really loving designer jewelry lately because I got this for Mother's Day. I always pick out my own gifts because I'm very picky. Anthony knows that, so he doesn't even attempt anymore. And I wanted something that was sentimental, but also timeless. And Chanel never goes out of style. And I love that it's bold, but I'm able to stack it with other pieces as well. So far, I've been wearing it a ton. I love it. Next, I want to show you guys these Tom Ford sunglasses that it's hard to describe how nice they feel. They feel so sturdy. This is their special edition collection. They're so pretty, but I like that it has a two-toned lens. These are also, I'll double check on the exact, the exact material, but it has 18 karat gold. I just, I don't want to give the wrong information. I can link it below, but I know it's made with gold plated or maybe solid gold. I don't know. We'll find out, but it feels really nice. Not very many of them are produced as well. So it's really nice. They're special. I mean, they're timeless and I'm going to take care of them, keep them in the case. I'm pretty good with my sunglasses, so I always like to make sure that I keep them nice. I've been loving this hair perfume from Byredo. This is the Bibliotech fragrance, and I love the perfume in this as well, but the hair perfume is really nice because I don't wash my hair as often, and I always use a dry shampoo, but sometimes my dry shampoo is just very a basic scent. So this is nice because I just put a little bit of spritz in the back, and it just makes it... Oh, it makes it feel really nice and every time I wear it, Anthony wonders what shampoo I'm using, but it's actually just the hair perfume. So I've been really into the tie-dye trend lately, which you could probably see from my feed. And also I did a trends video, which we can link in here as well with some tie-dye options. This one from Paco Rabanne is so cool because it has this crop tie here. So you can kind of scrunch it up and make it a little bit shorter. It says lose yourself, which is very summer fun. I love that. And I love that it has the two tones of the purple. Makes it really easy to wear. I just, I just love this brand in general. You'll see on my feed I've been wearing their iconic chain bag so much. It's really good. This next item is from Patrick Ta. It's called a Dream Champagne Major Glow Body Oil. I've actually used it in a few shoots lately, but you just spritz it on and it has this amazing glow. But also, I cannot put my finger on what this smells like, but it is... Let me try to figure it out. Hmm. Still don't know. It smells so good, and your body does feel really moisturized from it. It's really nice. I would think it'd be really nice at the beach, too. After you put on sunblock, to put a little bit of this on, just make your skin a lot more glowy. Also, like I said, works great for shoots. I've been loving this Ultra Repair Cream from First Aid Beauty. This is their Intense Hydration. It says skin protectant with fab antioxidant booster. I when I, I went to Vegas a few weeks ago and for some reason my skin was so dry there. I had just gotten off a flight from Portugal and I noticed that even my legs, everything was so dry in my skin. So I picked up this and I'm not even kidding you, I've been obsessed with it ever since. I use it on my face and my body. I don't I don't know if you should or not, but it works. It also says that it helps hydrate dry part skin and relieve minor irritation due to eczema and other conditions so i feel like it's a very calming formula my friend ricardo tried it on his face too and really liked it next is my bracelet from louis vuitton that i love i got this in portugal whenever i travel i love to get something something small but this was a little bit more of an investment piece for me but i figured i don't know when the next time i'm going to be back in portugal and i hadn't seen it at the boutiques here Maybe I just, I, I, I don't know, maybe I just hadn't seen it yet. So it has the Louis Vuitton monogramming, which is really nice. And also the clasp is really easy. So I can put it on myself and snap it. And also I can just pull it down. I'm left-handed, but I can just push it down. And then it unsnaps really easily too because of the clasp. So usually when I look for cuffs or bracelets, I look for pieces that are easy for me to clasp on myself. I love this Dior tote. This is their book tote that's very iconic. And for summer, I really wanted a more of a fun bag. I feel like a lot of my everyday bags are really muted and neutral. 
So this is something that I can also bring out next summer as well. And I love traveling with this, especially because the bottom is really sturdy. That's important for me with, with a travel tote because I put my laptop, I put my phone charger, different things that I don't want really just like falling around down there. Because I like to be able to see everything and not the bag not flop around. And this is so cool. And I usually wear a lot of neutral. Oh, today of course I'm wearing the brightest color ever. But for the most part, you guys know I wear a lot of black, gray, white. So I feel like this will always go with my, with my vibe. Love it. This home decor that I've actually been using in my office. I love it. This is from Mary from Happily Gray. She designed a home collection, which is all these really cool pieces. And this, I love the vibe. It's very cool. It can be used as a paperweight, but we don't really use paper in here. So I'm just using it as decor next to my mirror. I think it's really cool. Next, if you guys have been watching my stories, you probably have already seen that I love Shape House, which I go to the Pasadena location because it's closest to me, but they have different locations all over LA. They also have some in New York that I've been to a few times as well. I think those are the only major cities they're in. But if you are near that city, I really recommend it. I love it. I look forward to it. When I'm home, I try to go at least two times a week. Basically, I rent their clothes. You can bring your own clothes. They're long sleeves and then I wear the socks. So basically, you're all in just this sweat gear. You get into this bag and I think it's 70 for the whole 50 minutes. You sit. It's almost like a sleeping bag that you put on, you slide into and they give you headphones so you can watch. I always watch Netflix. I watch Forensic Files. But you sit there for an hour and you think it's not going to be intense but you're not realizing it because you're watching a show, but your body, your heart is going crazy trying to cool down your temperature. It's so good to sweat for your skin. The last 20 minutes especially, you'll feel your heart going, it's almost like you're doing a run, but you're watching a show and I'll have to go on the treadmill. For me, I love it. Also, I put my phone down for an hour, which is very rare for me. And I just really look forward to the time there. So after the 15 minutes and I go into this rest and relaxation room and they give you oranges and tea because you're really supposed to let your body cool down to the original temperature without jumping in a cold shower or something that would make your body cool down faster because that's when your heart's really doing all the work and my skin feels so nice after I feel really relaxed and rejuvenated. So I really recommend that and it is a little bit different because it is only in LA, New York. Hopefully they'll get into more cities, but if you guys are here, you should really try it. I love it. Anthony loves it too, and he kind of gets claustrophobic sometimes, but he's been loving it as well. Don't throw me under the bus. Well, I'm sorry. You can't handle it. You can't, you can't handle <laughs> shit. I don't like being hot. Yeah. He always overheats. He always wants the air conditioning down to what, like 65, and I'm always wanting it to 74. So it's always a struggle. Oh, and also about Shape House, I feel like my lower back just is weird sometimes. I think it's a lot of the times having to do with my posture. But Shape House is the infrared, it's the infrared heat. So it's really good for if you have any pain. And I feel like my back, my lower back just sitting on it after the hour feels a lot better and so much more relaxed. But that's the other thing why I do it. And the last favorite that I'm sure you guys know that I love my podcast. I listen to a variety, but I really love my true crime ones for the morning when I do my makeup just because it's so out there and bizarre. Like, I don't know. It's just so interesting. And I love the psychology behind it. I've been listening to the podcast one. I love all theirs, but this one is called Crimes of Passion. It's basically about people who are in these relationships or in these weird love triangles that someone ends up getting hurt. And it's very interesting. And a lot of famous cases are on there. So it's been like, I think they did Jodi Arias recently, but it's very interesting. And I think they're only 45 minutes. So they're pretty quick. All right, well, I think I talked about enough favorites for this month, and I don't know if you guys like something like this. If you want me to do more favorites, less favorites, would love feedback. I feel like I'm so new to all these different videos we're trying for YouTube, and would love to always hear from you guys, and I would love if you'd also subscribe. I know I forget to subscribe to certain channels when I watch the videos, so I would love if you would too. I'm gonna be doing some giveaways specifically for my subscribers, and would love for you to be included. Also links to everything that I mentioned are below and I'll put the link to Shape House too. So, all right guys, I'll talk to you later.